Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this Happy Valentine's Day project here inside of Photoshop Elements. Now, the first thing we'll need here is that fancy typeface. Let me bring up our browser window here so you can see where I got this from. There we go. I found this font on a site called defont.com, and there's the link for it right there. But I'll put this link in the description so that you can easily download this and not have to type that in. Now, you need to download this font and then install the font before you start up Photoshop Elements. So make sure you go ahead and do that. If you're not really sure about how to download fonts, just go to the first page here and there's information right in here on how to download this font right there. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So I've already gone ahead and installed that font right here. We can then start work on this card. Before we go any further, let me just remind you to click on that like button, click on share, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, let's start off here with a brand new file. Let's go File and New right here, blank file. There it is. Now I have mine set at the default size, which is 6 by 4 at a resolution of 300. Choose OK, and I'll just have that docked right there. There we go. And then let's fit that on screen. Okay, I'm basing this whole thing on just three items. One is a background, another one is that heart shape, and the third one, of course, is that specialty font. Let's get the background first, come down here to Graphics, and then up here, click on Background. I have mine set for By Type and then Background. And in here, just go clear to the top up here. If you just scroll down, it's a fair ways down here. Just keep on scrolling down like this, and there it is. It's right there. It's called Flourish Heart, and it's oh, almost halfway down in the list. Now, if you see a little blue triangle like this, that means that this has to be downloaded from online before you can use it. No cost to that. It comes free with Photoshop Elements, but they only download the ones that you use when you use them. So make sure you have an internet connection available. When you click on that, so it'll download that. And there we go. That's how that looks. It's just a real simple, kind of valentine -y looking background, but it's a good base for what we're doing. The second thing we need is to bring in a graphic. Now for this, go over here to your colors, left-hand side, Make sure they're at their defaults. If they're not, just click on that little icon right there. And then click on this double arrow so that white is in the foreground. Let's now change this over here to shapes. There we go. I'll go clear to the top. So here's our shapes. And then just scroll down. Again, it's a fair ways down here. Right down. There we go. It's about two-thirds of the way down the list. We want this one right there. It's called heart card. Just click once on that, and it puts that in the middle of the page right there in white, which is your foreground color. Okay, so now go back to our layers. There we go, so we have one layer for the background and one layer for this heart shape. Now take this corner and make sure you see that diagonal double arrow right there. You don't want a straight arrow like this, you want a diagonal arrow, and then pull that out. Same thing on this corner, pull that out, and make it so it's around in here somewhere, maybe just a little bit smaller than that. So right around in here somewhere, it should automatically snap to the middle of the page for you. If it's not doing that, go up here to View, come down to Snap To, and make sure that Guides, Grid, and Document Balance are selected. It should then automatically snap to the center of the page. Okay, that's our basic heart in the background here. We're now going to blend this in with the red in the background. So we'll change our blend mode up here down to Overlay. There we go. And it's too bright. So let's bring the opacity down up here, down to... 40%, just kind of almost into the background there. Okay, now right click where it says Shape 1, right on the name, and Duplicate Layer, choose OK, and then grab that corner again and make it just a little bit smaller. There we go, I'll do both corners, and it's gonna pull it to the center again. So it's kind of about in here like that, somewhere like that, and then hit the green check mark. I want this one to be a little bit brighter, so let's change the opacity for this one up to 50, just a bit brighter, like that. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need four more copies of this, but we'll make one copy first. Right-click where it says Shape 1 Copy, Duplicate Layer, choose OK. Pull that down here someplace like this. Grab a corner, make sure you're seeing that diagonal double arrow, and bring it down so it's, oh, about this big. You know, it's about half as big as that one. You can see right there. So here's someplace. And then change the opacity down to... 20. It's just a real subtle one. And overlap that just a little ways into the heart, just for some interest in there. 
OK. Now let's make a copy of that one. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. Pull that one up here someplace. Make it a little bit smaller, just some size variation. I want this overlapping into that hard. I want to be seeing this overlaps happening in here. Let's get this you know, variation in here on colors. OK, same thing. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. Take this one and bring it over here somewhere like that. Again, overlapping into your image. Same thing, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, and then pull this one down, just put it down here in the bottom corner someplace, just kind of fill up that area right down there. OK, that finishes off the whole background. That's all we had to do there, except for one last little step. And that's on our middle heart, and that's this one here. It says shape one copy. I want a thin little line around this, now this line isn't on the image. This is just showing that it's been selected. If I go off to a different layer here, see that goes away. So we want to kind of duplicate that. So for that, let's go up here to Layer, come down to Layer Style, Style Settings, and we'll be using a stroke right here. First on this black square, click on that, and then from the middle here someplace and drag upper left-hand corner. That makes that pure white. Choose OK. You want this outside. There we go. And then set this at... 7px, 7 pixels, and bring your opacity down a little bit on this. This is a bit too much. Let's bring it halfway down, about 50%. Choose OK. Click onto the background, and that's what it looks like. Just a little little thin line around there. It's not really kind of pure, right? Just kind of a little detail line. Okay, our background now is finished. Now go up here to the top layer. Because we'll be adding text, and I want the text above everything else. We're to our type tool right here. And then if you have the TS Curly Regular installed, you should be able to find this very easily. Now, if you have a lot of fonts like I do, I'm just going to scroll up here to the top. I'll click on anything up here. It doesn't really matter like that. So let's say it's on a different typeface. Just select that and begin typing in the name. It's TS space Curly, and it should go right to that typeface. There we go. Okay, set the size in here to 72 and set the letting to 60. It may not say it down here, but that's the one that you want. It's on centered. Color should be white still because that's what we had over here. And then click in the middle here someplace like this. And then just type in Happy Valentine's Day. And a big exclamation point to finish that off right there. And click on that green check mark. There we go. Now put this so it's centered. It should snap right to the center for you. You can kind of feel if there's snaps there and it snaps there. There we go. All set. Now I want this rotated just a little bit, so I'll use the Control T keyboard shortcut. That brings up my transform controls down below here, and down where it says degrees, set the degrees at a negative 20. There we go. Hit that green check mark. Okay, last little thing to do on this fast project is just to give us a drop shadow in here. So for that, go up to Layer, come down to Layer Style, Style Settings. Set the lighting angle here at 135, and then click on Drop Shadow. Take the opacity, put that clear to the top, leave your size at 7, and pull your distance out just a little ways. There we go. About 10 is pretty good. Just gives you a little bit of a drop shadow right in there. Helps us separate out that type from the background. Choose OK. And then click on the background so you get rid of that line, and there we go. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and I'll see you next time.